everyone, Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist here. And today we're busting into a little mini series that I'm calling Decoding the Dress Code. It's everyone's worst nightmare when they get invited somewhere and the invitation has a dress code or you're going somewhere and you need to dress properly for that venue or occasion. So in these next few videos, I'm going to be decoding those various dress codes and helping you get dressed with more ease. So today's video is all about the dress codes involved with weddings. Let's face it, weddings freaking suck. They're only fun for the people that are getting married. So I, luckily, I don't have that many friends, so I don't go to that many weddings. But when you get the invitation, it's like white tie, black tie, semi-formal, casual, festive, and now you're freaking out about what to wear and it's not even your special day. But here's the thing about weddings. You can't be a jerk and just wear whatever you want. You have to follow the dress code. You have to dress to impress because it's their special day and they want everyone to be happy, shiny, and beautiful. So don't like be a little jerk and just say, whatever, they're looking at the bride anyways, I'll wear whatever I want. Don't do that. All right, so let's bust into the dress codes. Dress code one, white tie. You probably don't see this one super often, but just know that white tie is the most formal of the formal dress codes. You need to bust it all out when you're in a white tie attire experience. So I'm talking like full length gown, you know, the jewelry, the hair, the makeup. It's like you're going to a daggone ball, okay? And your date, he needs to be in a tux with tails and like the whole situation. It's very fancy. So don't think you can cut corners and just wear a cute cocktail dress. They really want you to be dressed to the nines here. So that is white tie. Now, black tie, that one is a lot more common and it's actually a lot easier than you think. A lot of people freak out when they get a black tie invitation. I've styled many clients who are going to weddings and want me to pull their look together. When it comes to black tie, yes, it is very formal, it is fancy, but the dress code applies more to the man. So the man needs to be in a tux, but you can wear a long gown if you want, something floor length, but you really can get away with a chic cocktail dress. It's the dude that has to pull it together. He can't just wear any like whatever suit or some mismatch separates. He's got to be like tuxed up, but you could certainly sport a cocktail dress. Little black dress always works. Make sure that the fabrication is nighttime appropriate. Make sure that it's dressy, um, like a velvet in the winter or satin, um, something beaded, something with a little shine. Don't wear your little black jersey dress <laughs> that can also be a summertime day frock. We're not doing anything like that. We need something full on cocktail to make it black tie appropriate. All right, next up, semi-formal. So this one's like a real head scratcher. It's like, okay, you said formal, but you said semi. Kind of reminds me of like a business casual for work. You're like, what does that mean? Like there's business, there's casual, there's semi, there's formal. Cocktail dress, okay? Cocktail dress, you're freaking good. And again, make sure the fabrication says formal. So for semi-formal, you're not really gonna see a lot of women wearing like a full length gown, a really long dress. You're gonna see things that are cocktail. Think tasteful cocktail. So no like micro mini dresses, keep things really tasteful, a little bit above the knee or below, wear nice jewelry. You might wanna cover up any you know, extras with a little shawl at night. 
Um, you want to look classy, but you don't have to go full gown. And for the man, they definitely don't have to wear a tux. This is where a nice black suit would be fine. So, you know, make sure that your date is in line and he's not looking too fancy formal. That's for black tie. Um, but semi-formal, you're just two, like, chill, fabulous individuals going out for a nice night watching somebody get married. So one step below that, which it's not even a full step below, it's kind of right on par actually, is festive. So what if you get an invitation for a wedding and it's festive themed? Like what the hell does that mean? Usually you would get this invitation possibly like around a winter wedding um, or if they have some sort of theme. But when I think of the words, the word festive, I think of playful, um, fun, so you can play with color, you can play with sequins, you can play with texture, in interesting jewelry, maybe a really fun clutch. So festive, just equate that to fun. It doesn't mean silly and costumey and goofy, it means fun. They want it to like have a little, little levity at this wedding. And then the most dressed down uh, dress code that you would get for a wedding invitation would be casual. And I actually think that having that freedom to wear casual is actually much, much worse than getting a dress code like a black tie or a semi-formal. Because you're like, seriously? What does that even mean? So make sure you find out where the wedding is going to be. So a casual dress code could be because it's a beach wedding and then you're going to wear a great sundress and sandals. You're still going to be dressed up like it's going to be the best version of your sundress, not some ratty one that you also wear around the house with flip flops and a straw hat. You're going to want like a beautiful sundress, something floral, something that has, you know, some rich colors, something beautiful that is appropriate. Or maybe I had one client who went to a like a hoedown <laughs> wedding and it was like on a ranch and there was a straw and all this stuff. So that casual dress code kind of blended with festive where you could wear a really pretty dress and add like cowboy boots to it. So you're on theme, you're dressed down, but you do have that dress up effect because you have to respect the event that you're going to. You're watching two people get married. These two people paid a certain amount of money per head so you can eat and be there. So you do want to respect that and not just be like, oh, it's a hoedown wedding, it's casual. I'm gonna wear jeans, cowboy boots, and a little shirt tied, at the, you know, tied to show my midriff. That's not appropriate. Think of the event first, it's a wedding, and then enter in some of these dress code factors to make yourself fit in, which you always do wanna be dressed to impress. So those are the dress codes that you might run into if you're going to a wedding. We've decoded them. There's some images flying by on these videos so you can get a little inspiration on what you might wear. But before we close out on this video, I want to debunk two things that always come up when you're getting dressed to attend a wedding. One, a lot of people think that you cannot wear black to a wedding. You can wear black to a wedding. That is some old school, old wives tale mess. You can definitely wear black to a wedding. I wore black at the last wedding that I attended and tons of other people were, were wearing black. So it's totally appropriate. It's totally okay. Don't worry, be chill. The other one is people who think because you can wear black, you can also wear white at a wedding. No, white is for the bride. You pick another color. There's about 8 million other colors in the rainbow, including black, that you can choose from. So please do not wear white to a wedding. It's totally tacky. You will get side eye left and right. It's not cool, okay? So there's your dress codes. There's your little myth busters. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please subscribe to my channel to see more amazing videos like this all the time. 
and to carry on with this Decoding the Dress Code series because we're going to talk about dress codes for work and we're going to talk about dress codes for dating and there's even another surprise video in the series too. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I will catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.